Wisconsin farmers are breathing a sigh of relief after the suspension of the tariffs, which would have directly affected farmers in our region. Still, farmers in Wisconsin are trying to stay optimistic under the compounding stress of Mother Nature and market forces. This morning, we caught up with one multi-generation farm family at the Dane County's 41st annual breakfast on the farm. When the going gets tough, the tough gets going, the old adage goes. And for many dairy farmers in Wisconsin, that couldn't be more true. My first loan in 1985 was 17.5% interest when I bought a farm adjoining my parents. And I thought, how am I going to make this go? Dwayne Hinchley is no stranger to the challenges of farming, but he says this is different from the high interest rates of the 1980s when he got his start. It's worse. The big crunch is the disparity between what we receive and what the costs are. Costs like land, labor, and equipment, which have gone up significantly in the past 40 years. Unlike the price Hinchley has paid for the milk his 240 dairy cows produce. At that time, milk was $14.85 a hundredweight. Now I just got my last check, and it's not a lot better. We got $16.90. But he's staying positive through it all. I think a lot of farmers maybe thrive on stress. I know in my situation, I do. You're up for the challenge. You're going to succeed no matter what. The family's the incentive. You got a family depending on it, like any any parent. Family is where he got lucky. Not only do his wife and children play a major role in operations on the farm, but his daughter Anna plans to pursue her passion and come back to the farm after she graduates from UW Madison with a degree in dairy science. You have to be passionate. If you're gonna be a farmer, of course, <laughs> it's too hard of a work not to be passionate. Anna considers herself lucky too. My parents, I was lucky enough that they invested in getting milking robots so that I don't have to work as hard as they did. My mom was milking in nine hours a day, and there's no way I want to do that. And obviously, other people my age is they don't want to do that either. With the milking robot, she'll be able to spend more time managing the dairy herd and advocating for agriculture. Yeah, it's just gonna be it's gonna be me, and hopefully, I find a farm. <laughs> that will want to do this with me. If you're interested in learning more about farming, the Hinchleys offer tours of their dairy farm. We have details on our website.